Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Mission Impossible is what I called it and that is exactly what the Bulls just did over at Loftus. Final score, Bulls 25, Leinster 20. An absolute masterclass by Jake White and his men and a phenomenal semi-final. Probably the game of the URC sort of history so far. We looked at the last few games, the last few years of the URC. I struggle to think of a game that has been as good as what we have just witnessed over at Loftus. And uh, the Bulls not given a chance, really, by many people. Um, even me, I predicted that Leinster victory. You know, you look at that Leinster side, you just think, they're just too good, aren't they? Well, that was obviously what was on the, the changing room walls in uh, the home change room at Loftus because the Bulls came out and put in an absolute masterclass. Whether they'll be able to reach those standards next week, who knows, who cares what a result that is. Um, before we get into the game, look at exactly who scored and what the difference points were. Uh, please do smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. The Bulls, they started like a house on fire. They really did. Um, they were all over Leinster from very early on. They had an early try, chalked off actually. And they almost scored in about, I think about 15, 16 minutes. Um, and it was very silly by Mark Van Staden, who, you know, gave away the penalty for a tackle off the ball, which didn't need to happen. And you felt... You know how big important of a moment was that because Leinster two minutes later were inside the 22. Yellow card, Sergio Peterson. James Lowe goes over in the 23rd minute. Rossburn adds the extras, and from being potentially five, if not seven nil up, the Bulls were in fact seven nil down. And for me, this is where they potentially won the game. Did not panic. Did not panic. Forced an error. Got themselves into the Leinster 22 with 14 men scored a try. Jan Hussen, um went straight down the middle in the 29th minute, out of the extras. By the time Sergio Peterson came on in about the 33rd um, or 32nd minute, the scores were still level. And I said in the, in the week, in my preview, they've got to stay within touching distance. They've got to take the game deep. And in fact, they actually got a penalty on the brink of half time. So they actually went into half time with a, a, a three-point lead, which I think was going to be so big. Um, I did say in the second half, they had to start well. They had to score the first points. They did exactly that. Sergio Peterson in the 41st minute. The Bulls starting like a house on fire in that second half. Jan Hussein adding the extras. 10-point lead. Um, but this is Leinster. They're never going to go away, are they? They responded eight minutes later. As Kalen Doris went over. A, a, a um, conversion good from Burn before eight minutes later. A penalty leveled the scores at 17 apiece. 61 minutes. The penalty for the Bulls. 64 minutes. A penalty for Leinster, 64 minutes, 20, 20, 66 minutes. A high ball was lofted up by Ambrose Papier. Sergio Peterson, by the way, who's played just one other game since January, coming in for Kurt Lawrence um, and, Kurt and Kane Moody, him and uh, Stephen Williams, drafted in. One hand up, grabs the ball out of the hands of Jordan Lama. Over he goes in the 66th minute, bulls ahead. And then I'll tell you what, I think at one stage, Leinster put in 21 phases in about the 74th minute before a massive tackle from Albert Lowe and Cameron Harnacombe, who was absolutely terrific. He will be a spring mark. We know this. Looking at that performance, he'll probably be a spring mark this year, to be perfectly honest. Um, massive tackle, turnover ball, a late penalty option from the Bulls, just going short, uh, and then just turning the ball over. It was sensational. I mean, maybe I've used it a few times, but it truly was. It was incredible. And if you look at the stats, you know, it's not a stats of a smash and grab. It's a, a, a side that dominated the game and won the game. Uh, if you look at the, the, the territory, for example, 55% for the Bulls. Um, possession overall, 48%. But um, that was only because the Leinster had 63% possession in the last 10 minutes. But uh, set plays, the Bulls scrum ridiculously good. Winning penalties against all iron front row. Uh, nice anchor. They even won a couple of, uh, of turnover scrums, for example. So it was phenomenal. Their scrum percent win 75% to Leinster 67. Line outs at time were a little bit shaky, but um, pretty solid in the, in the end. If you look at the attack, though, I, I tell you what, both teams, you know, uh, look to run the ball. 236 post-contact meters for Leinster, 218 for the Bulls. Um, you know, 112 carries by the Bulls to 132. Um, lots and lots of meters made. The turnovers one, penalties conceded, Bulls eight, uh, Leinster four. We had a card for the Bulls as well. Um, look, I think the referee will be under a bit of scrutiny. I do think that Leinster got away with a few things, but I think you know, you go look at that, you probably find that Bulls got away with a few things as well. For me, what was the most interesting thing is that the Bulls plan, you know, they went, they looked at cross kicks, they looked at exploiting the width, 
um, you know, that 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 rush defense that Jacques Nyaba um, exploits. You know, the Bulls look to try and get around that by using those cross, cross kicks, by using those cut-up passes. Um, it was really impressive. And, you know, two teams that kick a lot. I mean, how exciting was that game? 43 kicks in from the hand from the Bulls, by the way. 37 uh, from Leinster. So it was the kick-to-pass ratio from the Bulls was 1-3. to three. So it was mental how often they went to the boot. And yet, look how it did work. Uh, in terms of some big performances there, carries James Lowe, 16, Cameron Harnacombe, 12. Uh, if we look at uh, the, the tackles completed, for example, Ulrich Lowe, 17. He was massive. Cameron Harnacombe with 15. Uh, in terms of the attack, meters carry, James Lowe, 114. Cameron Harnacombe, 83. Jan Corson, 73. Ulrich Lowe, 62. Defenders beaten. Cameron Harnacombe, 6. Jan Corson, 5. He's a special player, Cameron Harnacombe. There's no other way I could put it. Um, the Bulls are so lucky to have him. And I'll tell you what. One more element of performance like that. Bulls could yet be URC champions. Let me know what you thought about the game down in the comments below. Smash like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. If you're a Leinster fan, it's tough to take. But I think that they'll, they'll, they'll admit that Bulls are better on the day. And for them, it's back to the drawing board, isn't it? Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. And I'll chat to you soon.